breaking news that um, Putin has just said the organisers of the rebellion will be brought to justice. How that, does that square with Prigozhin going to um, Belarus? And does it mean the whole of the Wagner right. forces will be facing prosecution? Um, that's that's very interesting. He has just gone back on his word. Um, although, admittedly, we only have Prigozhin's account of the events that um, he claims that uh, Belarusian, uh, Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko personally guaranteed his safety and security. He's been uh, uh, supposedly spotted, according to social media, um, in a hotel in, in Minsk. Um, if Putin tries to go back on his word and prosecutes Wagner, then he has another fight on his hands. That's actually a terribly dangerous thing for him to do. The problem is, for Putin, he's damned if he disbands Wagner. He's actually in terrible trouble if he tries to take them on militarily. He finds himself at the mercy of events. And this is really the bottom line of this whole situation, is that he is weakened because he his room for maneuver and his credibility have been fatally undermined. Um, as you've just uh, reported, he is now attempting to go back, sort of row back on his weakness uh, that he showed in capitulating to Wagner. Uh, but actually, one of the things that w the reasons why people are supporting why people trust Prigozhin is that he's famously straight talking, keeps his word. Well, they've now, uh, Putin, Putin has now said that um, decisions to neutralize the threat were taken, which sounds quite sinister um, and, and sounds as if he's completely going back on what was said yesterday, as, as far as we understand it. And in what, from what you're saying, it's quite a high risk strategy if he's taking on the Wagner group, um, which is popular in Russia and has been. Um, uh, the most aggressive of the Russian troops. Mm. And w w one, one thing we all know from uh, you know, even cursory readings of Russian history is that uh, revolutions and uprisings are made by small minorities of very determined people. On paper, Putin commands about four and a half million armed men, and they're mostly men, uh, if you count the police, if you count the Federal Security Service, if you count the uh, paramilitary police and so on, the vast majority, majority of those people are not fighting in Ukraine. They are on the streets and in the cities of Russia, allegedly guaranteeing Russian security. Obviously, they're not doing a very good job, as we saw in Rostov. But the point is that on paper, Putin's four and a half million win against Prigozhin's 25,000. The real question is, you know, where do the cracks run? Is there a moment when the Russians, Russian military will disobey orders? And the, 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 there are basically two paradoxical questions, you know, and, and they, who would join Wagner and their suicidal death match with the Kremlin? Probably nobody. But conversely, who on the Russian, which Russian officer or soldier would lay down their lives to fight Prigozhin, to fight Wagner and their own people. There's no honor in that. So equally, nobody. So the, 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 the Putin is actually forcing a test of the loyalty of his own troops, which uh, they may not pass.